Hi everybody. So we're here today to celebrate one of the most famous, most world-renowned Japanese whiskey distilleries of all time. Uh, it's the Karizawa Distillery. Now many of you might know it, like in recent news, um, bottles from the distillery sell for hundreds of thousands of pounds and dollars uh, at auction. We Last year we had our uh, Cities of Japan series, which was a series of different Karizawa casks bottled under the names of uh, different Japanese cities. There's often new releases, they're always very expensive, but not many people know the, the background and the history of the distillery. So Karizawa was founded in 1955 uh, at, the, at the foot of Mount Asama in Japan. And the funny thing is that initially all the whiskey they produced was destined for blends. So it all went into this cheap line of blended whiskies that were uh, distributed across Japan. It was never meant to, to bottle or release single malts. Hence why the Karizawa character is like really, really pungent, really strong. It came to be known as the soldier uh, component in these blends and it brought that kick that was then diluted and blended with other whiskies to make it more smooth. So around the time, uh, around the 80s when Japanese whiskey started plummeting, a lot of Japanese whiskey distillers had a really hard time to continue production to keep selling because shochu sales were ri rising, you know, Japanese spirit beer sales were going crazy, so whiskey really dropped. Therefore, that led the Karizawa distillery to shut down, actually, in 2000, the year 2000, and they completely stopped distilling. And then in 2016, just a few years ago, the site was completely leveled, like it was just, uh, it stopped distilling, and then it was just taken apart completely leveled. But what happened after the, the distillery shut down in 2000, years after Japanese whiskey, you know, started becoming much more popular, they started bringing in awards and people started noticing Karizawa and the fact that they're not making whiskey anymore and, you know, it's never to be made again, that really, really increased the rarity and, you know, limited aspect of these whiskies. So some really smart uh, distributors bought up the final casks. They started um, promoting them, marketing them um, as you know great single malt whiskey, which it is. And that's when the world really noticed. And that's why today astronomical prices of Karizawa uh, bottles, you know, come around at auctions in different sites. So what we have here is one of the latest uh, releases of uh, Karizawa whiskey. It was released last year, um, distilled in 1965, and as I said, bottled last year, so that makes it over 50 years old. Uh, this is a, a release called The Streams of Time, and it's a sherry cask limited to only 150 bottles. Now you can see here, Jesus, that's heavy. Be very careful here if I wanna have a job after this. So, we've got a lovely thick wooden box here. So yeah, any, any release by Carousel that comes now, out now is usually like really unique, really beautiful. Um, people say that by the year 2020 in the Tokyo Olympics, that's when the final cask of Carousel is gonna be bottled because there's only very few left in the world now. I'd say around 10 to 15 casks are left in the whole world. So we're not gonna be seeing this for much longer. So here you have the bottle, Streams of Time, as you can see. It's a really beautiful bottle, lovely artwork on it. It's got the year on it, it's got the bottling date. Um, yeah, and this is just one of the, the most beautiful bottles I've seen by Carousel. There've been a lot of different, each of the distributors I mentioned you know, they have their own brands, their own uh, type of uh, artwork, etc. But this is one of the, the nice I've seen. Huge, beautiful wooden box. And it's on par with the distillery name. Anyway, that's all. We just wanted to, to present this bottle to you, let you have a look at it up close. Um, if you guys ever need any advice or help in finding any rare bottles, we're always here. We're just an email away. Um, at Decanta, and we can we can help you guys find the bottle of your dreams, hopefully at a decent price. Anyway, thanks for watching, and you know we'll be we'll be back again with our next instalment 
and unveil some other bottles for you. And keep an eye out, maybe there's something exciting coming up uh, for Decanta in terms of Curry's level whiskey, but that's all we can say for now. Have a great day.